Defense News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SAF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from 12th May to 1st June 2014. Minister for Defence Dr Ng Eng Hen was in Myanmar for the 8th ASEAN Defence Ministers' Meeting where regional security issues, including measures to ease tensions in the South China Sea, were discussed. During the meeting, Dr Ng stressed that ADMM and all stakeholders must respect sovereignty and territorial integrity, adhere to international law and actively resolve disputes peacefully. Dr. Ng and his ASEAN counterparts jointly called on Myanmar President Thane Sein and had an informal meeting with Chinese Minister of National Defense, General Chang Wan Xian. The Committee to Strengthen National Service, or CSNS, has announced its recommendations to strengthen NS. These recommendations included strengthening the NS training system by hiring more regulars, providing more opportunities for servicemen to contribute, establishing an SAF volunteer corps, revamping the recognition and benefits for servicemen, expanding community support for servicemen, and easing administrative restrictions like reducing the waiting time for enlistment to create a positive NS experience. Dr. Ng, who chairs the CSNS Steering Committee, cautioned that NS should not be transactional and stressed that recognition benefits would need to be carefully balanced. Many Singaporeans argued in our focus group discussions against giving servicemen too many benefits, lest it dilute and even adultery what it means to serve the country. I think this wisdom and virtue in this advice, we will provide more benefits for national servicemen, but these benefits must never ever become a monetary transaction for services rendered. The CSNS hopes to start implementing its recommendations by this year. For details of all the 30 recommendations, head to www.strengthenns.sg. The 13th Shangri-La Dialogue, or SLD, was attended by 26 ministerial-level delegates as well as senior defence officials, parliamentarians and academics from 35 countries. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's keynote address marked the start of the three-day security forum, which allowed delegates from various countries to engage in dialogue aimed at building confidence and fostering practical security cooperation. During the three-day summit, Dr. Ng met with other senior defense officials, ministers of the Five Power Defense Arrangements, United States Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel, China's 12th National People's Congress Foreign Affairs Committee Chairperson Fu Ying, and People's Liberation Army Deputy Chief of General Staff Lieutenant General Wang Guangzhong. Speaking to the media on the sidelines of the dialogue, Dr. Ng emphasized the need for strategic trust and continued dialogue between countries. Peace and stability or peace between countries comes only when there's strategic thrust. So the discussion centered on uh, what were the common principles that we could all agree on and what were the practices that we could do. So far, I would say that the sessions have been very relevant. Uh, some have been very direct. We recognize there were more problems this year than last, but we are still able to meet. And that, I think, speaks a lot and that we should continue to keep that lines open so that we can continue to have dialogue. During his speech at the 5th Plenary on 1st of June, which marked the close of the dialogue, Dr. Ng urged countries to build stronger multilateral frameworks, citing the ASEAN Defence Minister's Meeting, or ADMM, and ADMM Plus as possible platforms for open and inclusive dialogue. Dr. Ng also called for the stepping up of military-to-military -military cooperation in areas of humanitarian assistance and disaster relief citing how the recent experience with Typhoon Haiyan revealed the need for a 24-7 crisis center to coordinate military and civilian efforts. This was the reason why Singapore has submitted the proposal to host a regional HADR coordination center that will complement existing frameworks such as the ASEAN Humanitarian Assistance Center. Since 2002, the Shangri-La Dialogue has been a key platform in promoting dialogue amongst countries from within and outside the Asia-Pacific region. For more details on these stories, visit mindev.gov.sg. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through our social media channels. And this is JK from Power98 signing off.